All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to another update on this Halloween morning, October 31st, 2024 is the date, 9.54 a.m. California time. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a, uh, looks like a four-pointer across the Middle America Trench there in the red flag. Also 1.8 there across the Big Island of Hawaii. Uh, no further earthquake activity to note here across the Cascadia subduction zone for now. Yesterday, we seen that uh, six-pointer coming into the Blanco Fracture Zone. Now, a few folks were asking about that 4.3 that originally popped up here prior or shortly just thereafter. I think it was about a minute or two after uh, the six-pointer. Well, that was a phantom earthquake. Uh, and I say phantom earthquake because a lot of times these larger quakes, even local moderate quakes, can trigger uh, a seismograph station into believing that uh, there was a localized earthquake in the vicinity uh, of the area which was not the case yesterday there was only one earthquake and that was a six pointer there off the coast of oregon into the blanco fracture zone so they did remove that earthquake off the globe or off the map i know it uh, was on the globe here for a little while looks like they finally uh removed that as well but uh, sometimes the emsc model will keep it on the globe there for a number of hours and then pull it um you know down the down the line there but yeah only one earthquake there from yesterday that was a six pointer off the coast into the blanco fracture zone nothing showing up there right now uh, last night a three pointer coming into the susanville area uh, nothing new to report around this area of northern california for now uh, extreme southern california one earthquake here from yesterday above the 2.5 level aside from that mostly smaller microquake activity out here today Really no elevated seismic uh, uh, activity to note here across Halloween for now. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, a couple smaller earthquakes out there around the Lake Yellowstone area. 2.0 coming in this morning at uh, 6 o'clock. So let's see what's going on there at Yellowstone real quick. A uh, little, yeah, just one little earthquake right there across Lake Butte. That's going to be that two-pointer right there. Not a big earthquake. There's the six-pointer from yesterday off the coast of Oregon showing up on the seismograph stations there across Yellowstone. Nothing big, though, in terms of any other seismic activity there across Yellowstone for now. Just that uh, two-pointer and a couple other smaller earthquakes out there. Same for the uh, Montana and Idaho area. Not uh, too much going on out there right now. Rest of the country, oil fields and whatnot. A lot of folks getting geared up here for Halloween. And, of course, uh, here in a few days, got the big-time U.S. elections as well. Got to hold on to your hats here for this one. Uh, one earthquake here across the Taiwan area, 5.2. Uh, this is the area that had that swarming region here earlier this year. A swarm of fives and six magnitude earthquakes here across the area a few months back. Uh, 5.2 coming in there now. Really shallow at about six miles deep here uh, into the area of Taiwan. A couple smaller earthquakes here into the uh, Kuro Kamchatka Trench as well. Uh, one from yesterday and one from today. A couple fours out there. Really nothing of any big time movement there across the area for now. Uh, south of Australia getting uh, a little bit of divergent boundary activity. This is the uh, Oceanic Rift Zone down there or uh, fracture boundaries uh, 5.2 last night and a 4.7 just after midnight stirring things up out here across the southeast indian ridge that uh i don't see anything else there so far uh, following these two events this morning and last night but uh, we'll continue to watch that most of the time when we get activity up and down the and around the plate boundary here it really affects regions back here but so far, New Zealand really not seeing too much activity aside from some older movement quakes there from yesterday. Uh, the rest of the globe out here, fairly quiet. Older quake activity here in the red color rings. Not a whole lot through the Mediterranean. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Uh, most of the newer activity right now, kind of a mixed bag. Uh, across the Taiwan area, Japan Trench, Middle America Trench here showing some newer activity and also down into the South America area with uh, some big time clustering going on down there across this area. Nothing really above the uh, 
4.5 level here even though there's a couple yeah those are mostly threes it looks like maybe a, a bunch of twos and threes in this clustering area that's a lot of earthquake activity nonetheless here getting a lot of deeper shallow adjustment going on there across the center portion of the uh, Peru Chile Trench right about here so we'll continue to watch that definitely seeing some elevated activity out there uh, Puerto Rico region let's take a look here well across the subduction zone area around Dominica 4.4 uh, early this morning a couple hours ago 48 miles deep here into this area of the Caribbean uh, aside from that really nothing else going on across this region but uh, I guess we'll kind of see what happens on Halloween seems like we get major events happening around you know specific dates and numbers definitely uh, some significance to that so we'll see what happens here on this Halloween 2024 uh, anything major going on in the space weather world? Not a whole lot. Looks like some infler activity. We're starting to get uh, a little choppy here on the graph, indicating uh, a couple different growing complex sunspots out there. Almost uh, sizzling here with some infler activity in the last few hours. So let's see where this is coming from. As we look at the UV filter chart here. Uh, it could be any of these number of sunspots. Looks like maybe up here in the northwestern quadrant uh, got a little bit of activity as well. That's off of these uh, two sunspots here. The latest magnetogram image here showing, uh, well, I mean, a number of sunspots for sure. Really not seeing too much uh, intermingling up here within this area, but it does look like there's a little bit of flaring going on right now in the uh, low sea flare category. Uh, I still think the main area of concern out of all of this mess of sunspots is going to be this region back over here uh, with the close proximity of the sunspot magnetic cores within that region. We'll definitely watch that. Uh, either way, the flare threat remains somewhat elevated out here. 25% chance for the X-flare. M-flare at 75. C-flare around 99% chance or so. No major roars in the forecast, folks. No spooky green lights in the sky unless you... Uh, can create them yourself out there but yeah no major roars there in the forecast for now all right storm prediction center here i want to see what uh, yesterday brought us in terms of the severe weather um nothing showing up here in terms of tornado reports from yesterday there may there may have been a couple uh oh land spouts out there uh, but far as confirmed tornado reports, nothing from yesterday. There was a number of tornado warnings that went out from the National Weather Service, but they put out warnings whenever there's a radar indicated rotation or, you know, in general, something like that. But uh, nothing confirmed. A lot of wind reports out there. Some high wind damage across Oklahoma, Nebraska, or uh, Kansas, and uh, leading up into Missouri. Today, let's see what we got. A little bit less risk but uh, we're gonna start back building here across the southern plains once again here's day three this is gonna be um, what just happened to it are we still live we're still live sometimes I get a little bit nervous here when we got uh, a slow down okay there we go um, day three going to be for the Saturday time period so coming up this weekend here return of severe weather back across this area and it's going to venture up to the northeast as well as we look at day four there's already a 15 uh, 15 percent chance of severe weather uh, outlook out there for day four and day five there's going to be a series of severe weather threats uh, out there primarily due to a low pressure system parked over here across Colorado bringing in the elevated moisture levels and severe weather threats for the weekend uh, early next week and could last all the way through uh, potentially middle of next week and then back behind that some colder uh, air as well intermingling with that low pressure system going to spark up some more severe weather potentially so uh, we got a number of days out here with some significant severe weather uh, across the Oklahoma, Kansas area. Same areas that seen all that uh, 
mess of weather yesterday. Uh, the good thing is that these guys are going to get some much needed rainfall here from these uh, storm systems up uh, maybe around eight, nine inches of rain. This area has been dealing with some extreme drought. Uh, hopefully, I mean, eight, nine inches of rain, that that's half of our rainfall total out here in Northern California. So I can only imagine. Uh, I know a lot of folks out there saying, oh, we haven't had rain in 30 days. Well, we haven't had rain since uh, March. <laughs> Here in Northern California, that is, but that's, you know, that's, that's typical. Our rainy season really doesn't begin until probably about November or so. Uh, hopefully things start picking up out here. It looks like the storm door may be opening out here across California. We'll have to see how this La Nina pattern works this year. But, uh, yeah, there's the next uh, couple weeks or so of rainfall total accumulated precipitation. Much needed out here across this area as they've been dealing with uh, some drought conditions. If we look at the drought map out here, I'll show you guys real quick. The, uh, the drought, hopefully, is starting to uh, diminish out here across this area. But Oklahoma, uh, a good portion of this area, actually it looks like it's starting to get a little bit better out there right now. Due to the uh, rainfall here yesterday. So this will all fill in, it looks like, as we, uh, you know, bring some more moisture out there to the area. Big time improvement. All right. Uh, perfect time for a train to roll by. Seismograph stations out there pretty quiet right now. Nothing, nothing major going on. Both of the California stations offline for some reason. Not for sure why, but um, I may have to restart this and bring it back online because those are a couple different uh, stations there in California, monitor that are pretty important and close proximity, close proximity to the San Andreas Fault. One little earthquake there on the Solomon Islands. Uh, so we'll just kind of see how it goes today, folks. Uh, we'll definitely be out here a little bit later on this afternoon uh, to do uh, another update here on this Halloween night. Hope everyone enjoys their day. Please stay safe out there. You know, Halloween. A lot of people don't like to partake in the Halloween festivities out here. But, uh, you know, as it, it's it's fun for the kids to dress up and and just have fun. You know, it's... I remember it very well as a kid. It was one of my favorite holidays. You know, nothing evil. Nothing, you know, at least in the, in the mind of a child, it's all just about having fun and, and hanging out with your friends and dressing up as different characters. And, you know, it, it's kind of a fun time. Definitely a fun time. It was my favorite holiday. If I was a kid, I'd, or, I was, yeah, if I was a kid, I'd go out trick-or-treating. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to do that right now. They'd probably be looking at me like, what is going on here? Either way, I definitely miss the uh, trick-or-treating days. There was pretty fun stuff out there. All right, I'm out of here, folks. Uh, we will catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Feeling a little bit better. I got a cough drop right now, so that's probably helping suppress the coughing. But feeling a little bit better in terms of the whatever this is. I mean, it's really weird. Um but not quite 100% to where I should be in terms of my my voice. Because if I talk too loud and I can feel it start to crackle a little bit. Still got a little cough here on the side. Could be a change in the weather. I don't know. May just be some type of bug going around here. Because uh, the kids got it. Missy Mimi's had it. And then I was the last to get it. And it's just lingering. All right, everyone. Have a good day. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this afternoon. Stay safe out there.